Hey guys, so I have some extra time, so I'm going to go ahead and show you Sarah's updated nursery. Quite a few things have changed. <coughs> yeah, some things have changed. Um, so yeah, I just want to show you guys what it looks like now. It doesn't look like a newborn's bedroom at all, so I have to hurt my arm, so hopefully this goes okay. So this is how it looks now when you first walk in. Sorry if this um, video doesn't really show a whole lot at once. I'm just filming on my iPhone. So this is her bedroom now. So we're going to walk in. So the first thing you guys will probably notice is that she doesn't have a change table anymore. I actually got rid of that because we were never changing her on there. <laughs> um, so yeah. I guess we'll start here. So here's the door. If I can show you guys and then pretty much everything over here has stayed the same and slowly her bedroom is transitioning over to princess stuff from Winnie the Pooh since she is getting a little bit older so I now have a princess um, plate for the light switch <laughs> and then I still have the Winnie the Pooh lamp which I'm probably going to keep because it was a little bit pricey <laughs> and Sarah's making some funny sounds so on her dresser, she just has a couple things, um, her piggy bank, um, baby sunscreen, um, a little picture frame, which I actually have to get the pictures in it. I'm kind of lazy with that. And then her new book, it's just princess bedtime stories, so I'm reading that to her. And she still has the same dresser, it fits everything and it's still really nice. So yeah, that's held up pretty well. <laughs> Then moving on, I just have a couple diapers and her wipes down there. I just usually change her on the foam mat. So yeah, she's got her nighttime diapers and little swimmers. And then I also picked her up this little toy box kind of organizer thing. It's got all the Disney princesses on the side. And it actually holds quite a bit of stuff, so I just have all of her toys thrown randomly into there. And then, like I just showed you guys, I have the foam mat that she plays on and her little Elmo and the diaper genie of course I still use that a lot <laughs> and then right above that <coughs> is her name so yeah then moving on um her closet actually is like a disaster zone this kid has so much stuff but I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys anyways <laughs> um so yeah that's what it looks like up top I just have like extra diapers that she doesn't fit into anymore, extra snowsuit, um, a big puff blanket, and in that box there's like her Christmas ornaments and things like that. Hanging up on this side I have special outfits. Alright, I'm just going to put her down. She's kind of heavy. Yeah. Here baby, you play with your toys. Alright, there, that's a lot better. <laughs> So on this side, I just have like a few important outfits that I have, like her first Christmas outfit. It's kind of dark. I don't know if you guys can see. A little New York Jets dress, um, an army dress, just things like that that are special over on that side. And on this side, I just have like shirts that are don't fit her right now, um, dresses, sweaters. Um... What else do I got? Jackets, jumpers, just things like that. And then this little thing, I actually got this from Walmart. I can't remember how much it was. It was really cheap anyways, but it's just like a little organizer. So at the very top, I just have some bibs and washcloths for her bath. Um, what is this? <laughs> Brain fart, sorry. Um, yeah, you be careful. She's trying to climb on everything. So I have a couple towels for her, um, boots and shoes, that sort of thing, some extra crib sheets in here, it's so dark on my phone, sorry guys. In here I have um, bloomers, socks, just random things, and then in the bottom here I actually have like a couple outfits that I'm also going to be keeping that are onesies and things like that, her outfit she wore when she was coming home. And then in this Ziploc bag here, I just have cards from, like, my baby shower and her first Christmas. 
um, some balloons that I got when I was in the hospital. And I actually have my pregnancy test still in there. And it's in another little Ziploc bag. So, um, yeah, it's I'm going to keep that for as long as I can. And then down here, I just have things that I really don't use at all for her. I don't even know what's in this stuff. I tried to organize this before I showed you guys, but she's just got so much stuff. I think there's sookies in there, so, um, yeah, we have extra shampoo, disposable bibs, baby powder, which I don't use, so, yeah, that's just kind of a mess, and then her newborn car seat that she's too big for now, and then all of this stuff over here is actually bags of clothes that is too small for her, and all that I have in these bags is zero to nine months. So yeah, there's like four, four or five large garbage bags in there. So yeah, I don't know what I'm gonna do with that yet. I'm gonna take that toy from her. It's really noisy. All right. So then from the closet, I just have this little. I don't even know what you would call this. Like a little hamper kind of thing, and it just has all of her blankets in there. Um, a little horse, a little walker, but she doesn't really use the walker a whole lot. She mostly just likes the buttons on it. And in behind her crib, I actually just have her little tummy time play mat. So, yeah. She's down there having a blast. <laughs> then we still have her crib. I'm actually going to be getting rid of the bumper pads because now that she stands up um, in her crib and things like that, she mostly just stands on it and they're getting flat so I'm probably going to just take that out and just get the the mesh bumper pads um but yeah that's her crib and she does sleep with blankets now and she has just a few of her favorite stuffed animals in there <laughs> and then up on her ledge things are pretty much still the same that she had in there when she was a newborn but some things we added like a pizza hut or pizza delight we went there a little while ago and they got they gave her like a little hat so she was coloring on that um yeah just some dolls and things so yeah that's all that's up there her first barbie <laughs> and then i actually started getting these for her i'm gonna get one every birthday and it goes all the way up to age 16 so i thought that was really cute and yeah she's we're actually not even oilers fans but her sister got that for her. So, yeah, that's just a teddy bear. And, yeah, I don't think anything over there has changed at all whatsoever. And then from the crib, I, and I'm sorry if this is really loud, guys. She's over there playing. Um, I actually just got her this little Disney toy box. We just got this for her bears. This was only $20 at Toys R Us, and so it's just Velcro. And all of her stuffed animals are in there because she has quite a bit now. So yeah, that's that. And then we have her rocking chair, which I still use every night. I usually rock her to sleep in here. So she's got her blankets and her little Hello Kitty doll. Actually, it was my birthday yesterday. And my brother and his fiance came over and they actually got that for her for my birthday. So <laughs> yeah, that was like her present, but that's okay. And then she has her own little chair, which she obviously doesn't sit in it yet. She's still too small. But I got it for her anyways. I got it at Walmart for $25, I think. So it was really cheap. Um, but yeah, it goes along with the rest of the room with the Disney princess theme. And then we have her hamper. And then we're back to the door. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much what her room looks like now. And it's nothing that exciting, but I figured I would just show you guys so that you knew what her bedroom looked like now that she's a little bit older and I've switched things out and changed the room around. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this and if you want to see any other videos, just leave me comments letting me know what you guys want to see and I'll talk to you later. Bye!